hi guys welcome back to ug update guys on this video we're going to be talking about the my desire series and we're talking about a very interesting episode in the my desire series It's a good thing coming for arjun and kajvi on this episode so guys without wasting much time let's find out exactly what is going to be going down on this episode but before that lovelies don't forget this is the ug update in case if you are yet to subscribe please click on the subscription button and subscribe don't also forget to give the video a thumbs up all right lovelies let's dive straight into the video so guys the episode starts with mahima saves nitya from getting caught and bolts about herself then nitya says she doesn't forget her enemies and friends and we help her in need ajun tells the inspector that the killer didn't come yet it means he learned about the plan and escaped nitya walks in acting as shocked hearing about the daji's death then jagadish walks in next Ajun informs how Kajvi found that Adi dead when she went to offer him soup. How he planned to catch the killer by spreading fake news. Then Jagadish cries, hugging Ajun. Nitya feels happy that her problem is solved forever and continues to act. So the inspector tells them that they can take the Adi's body for the last rite. Back home, Ajun cries seeing his and Adi's photo. Then Kajvi tries to comfort him. Then Adu says that Adu wanted him to become a civil service officer like him, but he failed the test. Then Kajvi says he has a heart of gold and should work hard and try to pass the exam again and fulfill Adu's dream. So the servants inform Ajun and Kajvi that Nitya is calling them for dinner. They both walk out, then says he will return to Hadwa and serve someone else as Adu is dead now. Ajun emotionally hugs and thanks him followed by Jagadish. Then Om gives a key and says that Adi used to keep it with him always. So Jagadish says he and Baoji had a joint bank account with a locker. Maybe is a key of that locker. So he tells Ajun that they shall visit the bank and check that locker. So Nitya fears that Adi must have kept evidence against her in the locker and insists to accompany them. So they read the bank where the manager opens the locker and they find a boss within it. So the manager says the VJ was their esteemed customer and he is sorry for their loss. They return home and open the boss and find a pouch in it. So Nitya realizes that there is no evidence against her. Then Ajun father finds a letter. Then Jagadish reads the letter that Dadaji converted his life's earning into diamonds and kept it for Ajun. So he wants Ajun to become a civil service officer and use his earnings wisely. So Nitya says Baoji used to love Ajun a lot. And Romila asks to show her the diamonds to check if they are real. Then Dadi shuts her mouth. Jagadish calls the jeweler who informs that these are rare diamonds worth crowds and he can get clients to pay the amount they ask for. Greedy Romila takes Mahima aside and says she lost a chance of becoming rich. Then Mahima says she lost money and will snatch back Ajun from Kajvi. She will make sure Ajun will be hers and also his money. Lovelies, finally Ajun is rich. Like Ajun is now rich due to the wealth that was left for him by his grandfather. And now Mahima is jealous and is threatening to get Ajun and his money back. Guys, what do you think about this episode? Please drop what you think about the episode on the comment section. And as you do that, please don't forget. This is the UG update in case if you are yet to subscribe. Please click on the subscription button and subscribe. Don't also forget to give the video a thumbs up. Alright lovelies, that will be a wrap. Thank you guys for watching up to this point. I love you guys and I will see you guys on my next video.